everyone, and welcome back to another Exo Heroes Hero Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about Baelish, the head advisor of St. West. Much like our beloved, or not, character from Game of Thrones, this Baelish is also a skilled manipulator, opting to poison enemies over failed dealings and having his servants do the dirty work. Unlike the Baelish from the show, this one's also good at killing dragons, but we'll talk more about that later. A quick overview, he is a faded hero, chaos type with the darkness element, and he is a magical attacker. So with that being said, let's look at his skills. So just like every other hero in the game, Baelish has got a basic attack that, that does 491 to 590 damage on a single target. His A1 is Negotiation Breakdown, which costs only 2 mana, and it deals 63% damage to all enemies, as well as having the Overtime effect, which corrodes target and dealing 39% damage every turn for 2 turns. His A2, which is Callous Servant, which costs 4 mana, and it deals single target damage at 375% damage to one enemy, and it also has the overtime effect that corrodes targets and dealing 112% damage for 5 turns. And lastly, let's take a look at his passive. So his passive starts with mana absorb 3, which removes 1 buff from an enemy and gains 1 mana for himself. He also gains an additional mana if target health is at 80% or more. If the target health is below 30%, he would then remove 1 mana and gain 1 mana for himself. Baelish also comes with the Dragon Knight Blessing passive, which increases damage dealt to Dragon with a Dragon skill of order activated by 250%, which makes him a good candidate for Light and Dark Dragon days. But with that being said, let's take a closer look at how you should be using Baelish to his full potential. Right, so as is the trend for Chaos units, Baelish is a dot-focused offensive hero. I do want to point out though, that among all the Faded Chaos heroes, Baelish and Rira are the only two that have their actives split between one AoE and one single target. This is worth mentioning because it makes them that much more versatile in PvP content, where you're more likely to run into heroes with on-hit activated passives or effects, and being able to have the flexibility to avoid that without resorting to basic attacks can be very useful. Baelish's A2 Callous Servant is an insanely strong attack if you tally up all the dot ticks, totaling to 935% damage for 4 mana, making it also very mana efficient. This is great for breaking Guardian Stones as well as each tick of his dot can break one Darkness Guardian Stone. The downside of this, as is the case with all strong dots, is that because a majority of the damage is over a set of turns, it provides more opportunities for the target to be healed, cleansed, or shielded, thus mitigating the final damage taken. You also have to be careful when fighting against first guardian type heroes, as the AoE dots will proc wrath and cause them to counter you each turn and provide a shield for their team. One interesting thing to note about Baelish is, he's the only faded chaos hero with the Dragon Knight passive, which of course makes him the ideal pick to take into Holy Dragon Grounds as we mentioned earlier, especially with his fate core. Speaking of which... Speaking of which, alright, let's take a look at Baelish's fate core. So Baelish's fate core is relatively straightforward. The skills are no different, even though I think the names are a little bit different, but functionality-wise, they're exactly the same. The only difference comes through his passive. As with other Dragon Emperor Knights, he has the Great One passive, which then activates Dragon's Blood passive, which then will lead to the Wrath passive. And with Wrath, every single turn, one attacked, allies marked with Dragon Blood will counter and dealing 50% damage for every single Dragon Blood mark that's on them. And note that at the beginning of each fight, Baelish will mark four of the highest attack heroes in the backline with him, with a Great One mark, which will then be able to turn into the Dragon's Blood mark and allow them to proc the Wrath passive. And lastly, he also comes with the Dragon Scale passive. So what he does is, on every single turn, upon taking damage, Baelish grants a barrier equal to 100% of his own defense for each Dragon Blood mark on an ally that has been marked with Dragon Blood. And this can last up to 10 turns, but it cannot be stacked. So overall, as you can see, Baelish with his Fate Core is a considerable step up from his regular version, but at the same time, it also doesn't change dramatically how you would play him as a hero. So that's it for us today. 
If you have any other thoughts on Baelish, please let us know in the comment section down below. To see more reviews of Exos Heroes, feel free to check out our other content. And lastly, if you enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next episode. See you guys.